Welcome to the Banks Insider for May 15th, 2020. I'm Jay and here's what's been happening inside banks this week. In this week's R&D update, Eric from Engineering and Gail work together on a four banger Camaro. Banks doesn't do it very often, but when Gail's longtime friend asked him to find some extra ponies for his 2016 Camaro with a four cylinder Ecotec engine, he was eager to assist and to see what this little engine could do. The team then made an engine mounted, computer actuated water methanol injection system, a turbocharger kit from ZZP featuring a Borg Warner EFR and custom turbine housing provide extra power. And Jeff, one of our calibrations engineers, worked on a special tune. Alan, Gail's buddy, is ending up with more than just a few extra ponies. When all is said and done, it's more like a stampede of Clydesdales! <laughs> Will the kit be available for everyone? Unlikely. We're pretty focused on full-size pickups at the moment. In iDash on the road, we spoke with Anthony Ralston about his C6 Corvette. Anthony likes to keep an eye on his intake air temperature, especially since the boosted air temperature from his Magnuson TBS 2300 supercharger can spike on hot days, pulling out timing, making him less competitive at the track. The elevation where I live is almost 4,000 feet above sea level, says Anthony, and the temperature difference between winter to summer can really mess with the air density in the intake. I typically see anywhere between 10.9 to 12.5 PSI boost based on density altitude. Anthony went on to explain that he was looking at all the multi-gauges on the market, but the iDash actually had way more features than he needed, making it basically future-proof. Most of the multi-gauges that I looked at on the market cost the same or more than the iDash, and they had a lot of setup versus the iDash, which is just plug and play in the OBD port. So Anthony, it looks like you've got the tool you need to win some races, so good luck at the track. If you win, we expect you to share some cash with us. In this week's Dealer Spotlight, we visit with Gary Fields, owner of Diesel Pros in Belgrade, Montana. Gary started his career as a heavy duty mechanic in the Marine Corps from 99 to 03 during his tour in Iraq. Thank you for your service, by the way. After taking a long, hard look at their lives and future, Gary and his wife decided that being a mechanic was the right life path. He enjoyed it, he was good at it, and he took a liking to the light duty side of the business. And there was an opportunity, as at the time, there were very few people in the area doing any performance diesel. So in 2010, Gary made a business plan for Diesel Pros, got a small loan, and opened his first shop, a one bay little spot with a small showroom totaling 1,800 square feet. From this humble beginning, Gary's Diesel Pros has grown into an 8,200 square foot facility with six bays and a rock solid team to take care of customers' needs. Being an avid off-roader, Gary also has an offshoot of Diesel Pros called DP Conversions, where they do some pretty awesome engine and transmission conversion packages packages for Jeeps, as well as suspension upgrades. When it comes to customer service, he's got a recipe. Hold to your guns and take care of folks. Do what you say you're going to do and do it when you say you're going to do it. So if you're in the Belgrade, Montana area, give Diesel Pros a call. Our fan focus this week is on Brad Sankey and his 2005 Duramax. Brad ran into the bank's crew last year at Diesel Power Challenge in Denver, Colorado. At the time, he had a big single turbo, a Borg Warner S480 80mm with a 96 turbine. Making huge horsepower numbers wasn't a problem, but his eventual transmission failure caused him to park the truck right before the COVID-19 pandemic. Brad isn't one to just sit still during his downtime. The transmission is being retrofitted with stronger internals, and that big single turbo is gone. He's making way for a triple compound system. Yes, triple. He's actually been picking the brains of Banks engineers for the last couple weeks on turbo selection with the goal of making the most power he can efficiently, meaning intercooling. In Diesel Power Challenge, every vehicle in the competition was outfitted with a Banks iDash data monster and sensor modules so they could measure manifold air density. This info allowed them to better tune the trucks and see where power robbing problems might be. Having all this info available to him made Brad a believer in the iDash. Brad was also chosen to be a Banks test pilot for a pre-production Ram Air differential cover. You guys don't know this, but Brad actually ran the entire competition while running the very first Ram Air diff cover. It's pretty darn impressive, he says. The way it keeps the fluid cool was something that I really didn't expect. Another thing is that as soon as I replaced the PPE cover with the Banks one, I stopped having wheel bearing problems, he says. 
Up to that point every year, I had to either tighten or place my passenger side wheel bearing. I had always followed PPE's oil fill instructions, so I don't really think it was a lack of lubrication as much it was a lack of lubrication in terms of oil flow. Brad, thank you for everything you've done for Banks, and we're looking forward to seeing that triple. The Banks Derringer Tuner for the 2020 Duramax L5P is now in stock and flying off the shelves faster than toilet paper at Costco. Look, look at this. The Derringer and iDash combo adds 81 horsepower and 144 pound-feet and has six power levels and works while in cruise control. It communicates with the truck's ECM via the OBD port and just like all Derringers, has auto rate and adjust fuel and boost to tune dynamically, even accounting for altitude. Active safety protects the vehicle should a module error occur and trans command protects your transmission by checking clutch slip and torque converter lockup 20 times a second. And best of all, the system includes an iDash, so you can control the Derringer and monitor all the stuff GM doesn't want you to see. Check it out now at bankspower.com. Sorry about all the noise in the background, guys. <laughs> I can hear the compressor and a drill press going on right now. Next up in our Time Machine segment, we hop on board my buddy Cletus's homemade time oscillation Spintron and travel back to 1978. Gale Banks turbocharged engines completely dominated the 1978 edition of the New Zealand Citizen Jet Boat Marathon by powering boats that finished first, second, third, and fifth. Grabbing the win was Reg Benton of New Zealand. His margin of victory in the grueling 1,000 kilometer event was a staggering one full hour. Can you guys hear that? It's so loud out here. Powering Benton's jet was a 454 cubic inch twin turbocharged Gale Banks Chevrolet engine. Finishing right behind Benton, the top five were as follows. Second, Howard Smith with a 350-inch Gale Banks turbo engine. Third, Alan Johnson with a 454 cubic inch Gale Banks turbo engine. Fourth, Max McKenzie with a 496 naturally aspirated engine. How dare you, Max? And fifth, Selwyn Painter with a 350-inch Gale Banks turbo engine. Every boat in the top five used a Hamilton jet. The river racing series is the most punishing type of endurance racing imaginable because the 900 horsepower Banks turbocharged marine engines are constantly shock loaded and subjected to a 7-8G impact load that can rip the flywheel right off the crankshaft. The engines also have to have a very broad power band so they can idle down to negotiate shallow waters and then blast off the full power. Super glue yourself to our Facebook and Instagram feeds and be sure to subscribe to the Banks Power and Banks Insider YouTube channels to keep up on the latest goings on here at Banks. We're still here and we're pumping out performance.